Now I know this is not Taekwondo. This is not Judo either. This is not even something that I believe is occurring in the United States. This is something that I'm not involved in at all. But I thought I'd make a video about this sentiment because I, I share the same concerns with what most, what most people call traditional martial arts, I like to call classical martial arts in general. And that is that if we're that careful, we may end up losing them to things that people feel like are more hip, cool now, or whatever, things that they think are going to be more useful to them in the workforce. So this article that inspired this video is about uh, martial arts legend Sammo Hung says he can't teach his grandsons Kung Fu because he doesn't because he can't control them. I don't even dare tell them to go to bed. This is a really feel-good piece about his uh, movie that's coming up called Twilight of the Warriors, Walled In. I don't think I saw the first one. So we're not going to go through all the full t details of the video. That's him with his grandkids. That's a nice picture. I mean, if you want a nice feel-good piece, I think you should read this. But this right here is the part. Uh, I'm going to skip over that. This is the part <laughs> right here. Samuel says Hong Kong's martial arts industry is slowly becoming obsolete. The martial arts back in the day, the martial artists back in the day have all switched careers to, to, to uh, sell Char Sui Bao's now, or they've become taxi drivers, he says Riley. He hopes to open a, an academy to teach Kung Fu, but is worried it will be of no use in today's society. What do my students do after they graduate? Sell char siu bows? Then what's the point of me teaching them those things I spent my entire life learning? It honestly aches my heart, he laments. It's why Samo hopes Twilight of the Warriors, Walled In, could inspire some children to pick up martial arts. In the past, many young boys have practiced Kung Fu every day and say that they want to be martial artists when they grow up. But now they look at the industry and wonder, what's the point of learning? They don't see any future in it, he sighs. It's not just Kung Fu. I could see that sentiment happening with any of the traditional martial arts. Because with a lot of people, if you're not going to get a trophy out of it, at least, or you can't make a direct living out of it, they don't see the point. A lot of people bring their kids into martial arts classes because of two things I've seen. Number one, they feel like they want the child to learn how to defend himself or herself. So they put him in there because they believe, I want my child to learn how to fight. This is how they want to learn how to fight. Learning how to fight is a basic life skill. I'm going to put them in there while they're a kid. And I can agree with that to an extent. Another sentiment I see, which I don't agree with, but there's really nothing I can do about it, is the idea that my child is too soft or too sensitive, so I want to put them in the martial arts to toughen them up. I don't necessarily agree with that sentiment because if they're going to be really sensitive and if you think that they're too soft, they're just going to be a sensitive person with fighting skills. I don't know if that's necessarily going to make them harder and make them less emotional, make them a better emotional regulator per se. I think time will do that and them dealing with their emotions would do that. I don't know if that's necessarily something that I can give them as a martial arts instructor. And I don't know what's, what's wrong with people being sensitive, especially if they're children. I think life is going to give you enough hard knocks enough that you're going to have to toughen up or you're just not going to stay afloat. So the way I think we can combat it is just the way that I'm trying to combat it. I'm teaching part time and I pass on whatever I've learned. And I've com I've combined styles so that people feel like they can get, you know, more than exposed. They got one primary thing, Taekwondo, secondary thing in judo they can be exposed to. So they have some major techniques that aren't just hitting, but you can also use for de escalation with the holds and the pins from judo. So the main thing what I don't want to happen is I don't want the martial arts to dwindle to the point to where only the wealthy 
or training their children. So let's think about that. So, yeah. One thing that if any parents are watching this, just like I've heard people say this about taking classical piano or any, any type of engaging discipline of sport, keep this in mind. Just because they may not be able to make a primary living doing martial arts, those skills that they learn in there, the character traits of courtesy, integrity, perseverance, self-control, and indomitable spirit, it's not that they're not going to have problems in their lives, they are. We all have problems in our lives. We all have issues. But the traits that they would develop taking martial arts, I know I said it can't, it can't toughen their hearts up or, you know, it's not, it's not going to make them less prone to being emotions. It's not going to make them hard, per se. At least I'm, I'm not going to try to do that. But you can apply your martial arts skills mentally. I definitely do that in information systems. I treat the information like it's a dojo. The method of learning where you start from the beginning and work your way up through and breaking things down into smaller parts in order to accomplish a task, that's what the belt system teaches. That's something else that a child could learn. They get to the point where they're teaching a class. They are learning public speaking skills and learning how to be comfortable leading, teaching, standing up in front of a group, conveying information, instructing things, passing on a skill. And, you know, for those of you who like sports, there's a lot of people that swear by the benefits of competition. I was never a very competitive person growing up. I wasn't an athlete growing up. But I did some tournaments as an adult. And I like that stress. I like that that stress, that, that having to think and, you know, somebody's coming at you, even whether it's striking or whether you're trying to grapple, that, that, that physical chess match. You got to keep the physical going on while you got to think at the same time. That's definitely a benefit that would be good for a child to have that I think would give them, put them ahead a little bit in this world. So perhaps great minds think alike. I see Sam Mo Hung is another person who's seen something that I, that I see. And that's with the way things are in this world. Those of us who are martial arts enthusiasts, we need to keep it going so that it won't go the way of the dinosaur. Or what I think is because I don't I don't think the rich will ever let it completely die out. It could just end up being something that they have for themselves and their children. So thanks for watching this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Please share this with people like talk, talk, talk about the martial arts and peace as always. Thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Peace.